we all know that AI has been going pretty insane, moving and advancing at insane speeds. ChatGBT, when it dropped originally, blew people's minds and GBT4s came out and it's blown people's minds even more. So much so that there's been a petition launched by a lot of people to pause AI development for six months to do something and they are pretty adamant on doing this they are not very excited about where ai is going or what the future could hold with this type of ai just advancing at this rate see this is uh, the the petition here it has elon musk steve wozniak and over 1100 tech experts signing it in an open letter to pause the training of ai models more powerful than gbt4 they warned this could represent a profound change in the history of life on earth so it's obviously pretty crazy there's some really big names obviously elon musk steve wozniak on there of uh, is supporting pausing this including I think the CEO of OpenAI is on that list and a lot of AI companies. So even the people in charge of making this thing are saying that they want to pause it, which isn't really a good sign, right? To say you're creating something and seeing that it's getting so powerful so quickly that you say we should stop this. I'm not sure what the six months would do in terms of why that's important to stop it, but apparently it would do something. Some of the things AI has been doing, you can see uh, even a Google AI researcher resigned after warning Alphabet CEO and other senior execs that its AI program Bard was using data from Microsoft's ChatGBT. So all these AIs seem to be just pulling from each other, which I guess makes sense because they're all pulling from the internet. And if they're using the same types of sources, they're all going to start pulling from each other. That would make sense. You also have ChatGBT outperformed random portfolios created sufficiently and created sufficiently diversified ones. So even the world of finance, ChatGBT is doing better than the professionals. And also AI like ChatGBT could impact 300 million full-time jobs worldwide with administrative and legal roles, some of the most at risk. And that's from Goldman Sachs. So Obviously, this is a disruptive technology. It's an innovative one, and it is going to change the way people interact with things. But I don't think that it's something you should be so scared of to say, that's it, shut it down. I, I don't think that's the right route to go down. You had similar things like with the internet and people were worried about what the internet was doing, and it's always a bad idea to stifle innovation and try and shut it down. But here's some of the worries that this has from a, a bunch of people that signed this uh, petition here you can see the institute called on all ai companies to immediately pause training their ai systems that are more powerful than chat gbt4 for at least six months being concerned that human competitive intelligence can pose profound risk to society and humanity so i guess they're worried obviously about ai becoming so smart that it just is smarter than people and could do so many things better than people could do which i guess is a path that it's going towards right i mean ai art you look at what it was just a year ago and where it is now it was it's so much harder to tell whether or not an ai created art or a person did and it's getting pretty insane and obviously that's where all this technology is going it's only going to get better as time goes on but i don't know what the six month pause would really do what's the point because if it's a six month pause and you wait six months but then you just keep going i mean what was the point of the pause i i don't know why six months is relevant but that's what i guess they're fighting for and another one of the big uh trouble points that everyone's pointing out is like this year the top concerns were whether machines could flood information channels potentially with propaganda and untruth and whether machines will automate away all employment opportunities i think that's a little bit of a stretch right of saying they could automate away all employment I mean, there's got to be some sort of person maintaining it, right? Unless it starts to maintain itself. But I don't know how it would do that. And if it can figure that out, then it's taken over the world. Uh, but obviously pushing propaganda and untruth and stuff. I mean, people already do that, right? It's not like an AI specific thing. Plenty of people already do that on the internet. Just post things as if it's true, knowing they're not true just because they want to. People buying bots. Even on Twitter, you see people buying bots to influence polls or influence how much people actually care about something by liking posts and commenting in that. So it's already something that's happening. Maybe AI accelerates that to a place where it's absolutely ridiculously insane what's going on. 
could be. But I mean, this it's not like this isn't happening already. And obviously, with those concerns, brings up these questions like this saying, should we let AI flood social media with propaganda and untruth? Should we automate all the jobs? Should we develop AI minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete, and replace us? Should we risk loss of control of our civilization? So all these things are pretty valid concerns, right? Things to question. But I do think that just saying all the negative things and focusing on that is already going to be a problem as well. There's people with this with the internet, right? There's people always against the internet and how it's going to be the worst thing ever. And now we've seen what the internet's done. We've built on top of it. We've done our own things. And it's turned out to be a pretty good thing overall. I think that could be the same thing with AI, that we see all the negatives up front. We see the negatives being uh, obviously glaring and scary. And those are kind of overweighing what could be the positives. And obviously, if we stop the innovation, somebody else is still going to do it, right? Somebody else in the world, China is going to do it. Some other country is going to do it. They're not going to stop just because you stopped. So you've kind of opened Pandora's box at this point, and we're here. So you got to figure it out now. But it might be just hyper focus on the negative right now and not really uh, accepting what the positives could be from AI. And I think that, you know, just like the internet, We'll find a way to go on. We'll find a way to build on top of it. And we'll find a way to use it for overall beneficiary factors instead of negative ones. Well, we'll leave with this clip from 2016 from Stephen Hawking, who said, who gave these warnings, very similar things. And in 2016, he was talking about this stuff. Success in creating AI could be the biggest event in the history of our civilization. But it could also be the last unless we learn how to avoid the risks. Alongside the benefits, AI will also bring dangers, like powerful autonomous weapons, or new ways for the few to oppress the many. It will bring great disruption to our economy. And in the future, AI could develop a will of its own, a will that is in conflict with ours. In short, the rise of powerful AI will be either the best or the worst thing, ever to happen to humanity.